going to have diabetes in the next three to five years? Well, let's examine that in this video. Who am I? I'm Dr. Esther Odota, your health and your wealth coach. How to know if you're going to have diabetes in the next three to five years is to know your current pre-diabetic state. Pre-diabetes is the value of blood sugar in our body above normal but not up to the range of diabetes. Here are the normal blood, va blood value and when it comes to pre-diabetic, here are the pre-diabetic value. Now, how to know if you are currently pre-diabetic or are almost developing it? Number one is when you do a blood sugar check using a glucometer and it shows you a pre-diabetic value. Number two is when you have extra belly fat, especially in the middle region. Oh yes, you know those fats. Now it shows that you have insulin resistance and this prevents your body from letting go of fat. Number three is when you have skin changes or skin tags around your body. These are different signs of pre-diabetics. Now also number four is when you have increased sugar cravings or insatiable hunger for sugar and sugary products. That means that the more sugar in your body, you are still not satisfied, you are still taking it. This is as a result of insulin depletion in your body. It shows that you are pre-diabetic, almost turning to diabetes. Number five is when you have a family history of diabetes, oh yes, and you are doing nothing about it currently, then you are risking yourself to develop diabetes in the next three to five years. Number six is when you have a sedentary lifestyle. Do you know what that means? It means you are not exercising. It means you are not taking any activity. You are just sitting one place or you are just sedentary. Number seven or number six is when you have PCOS. PCOS is called polycystic ovarian syndrome. That means that there's hormonal imbalance. You are adding weight. This means you are tending to have diabetic number diabetic especially type 2 diabetes what do you need to do to change this or to prevent this number one is to know your risk factor do you have any of these things number two is to go and check your blood sugar level do you know your current blood sugar level are you in the diabetic or pre-diabetic state number three is to see your doctor Number four is to mostly importantly listen to me, my continuous videos, and hear important healthy tips. Did you find this video helpful? Then please share, like, comment in the description below. Question of the day, what signs or symptoms do you currently have that you may suspect that you have pre-diabetic? Let me hear from you. See you in my next video. Bye.